Hello again. All right, so in our last video, we talked about how your balloon goes in and your balloon goes out. So it goes in when you breathe out uh, and out when you breathe in. Okay, now that's very natural and you can feel that at any time. So don't worry about remembering the in and the out stuff. Just, you know, whatever feels natural, like that, okay? So now we're going to apply this concept of resistance. So resistance is when two things are pushing against each other. So say your hand is going and pushing down and your other hand is pushing up. And so when they touch, they're resisting each other and you feel that in your arm muscles, okay? You can do that this way. You can do that this way with your hands. You can do that this way. You can pretty much do it however you wanna do it. Okay, now when we apply that to our, to our balloon here, right? We wanna just, the resistance is happening um, from the outside, you can push in on the balloon. And from the outside, it's gonna be pushing, you wanna push it that way. You wanna push it out toward your hand. So you wanna fight your hand, even though your hand is saying, go in like that. You wanna say, no, it's not gonna go in. And you wanna resist it and keep your balloon out like that, okay? So here's an exercise. Um, some people do this on a sound or pretty much anything you can think of, like a zzz, maybe a zzz would be easier than a sound. I find that on the sound, a lot of air escapes, so it's really a lot harder. But um, the way that I do this is I just hold a note. So let's say, okay? So we're gonna breathe out, and then we're gonna breathe in. And I can keep going, right? I'm really loud, and I can keep going for a really long time, which is great for our phrases. All right, I'll see you in the next video.